I do, Corky. There's a little bark just down there. Perfect, Bill. <laughs> Take it in gently. Gently it is, Corky. <laughs> this really is something, Timmy. <laughs> this is much better than the seaside. We'll like living here. I'll miss Mrs. Whistlehead if she moves to the city, Bill. So will I, Corky. But if that's what she wants... I know. Then we should help her. What do you think of the city, Mrs. Whistlehead? There's so much to see and do here. I'd never be bored. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of traffic in the city, isn't there? What's that over there? I'm not sure. It looks like rubbish, Mrs. Whistlehead. Oh, how disgusting. The city isn't very clean, is it? It's too noisy. We should go. Sorry. I said we should go. Oh. You don't like the city anymore? The city is too noisy, too smelly and too dirty for us. Where to now, Mr. Whistlehead? Somewhere clean, green and quiet. Where would that be? Where else? The forest, of course. Right you are, Mrs. Whistlehead. Next stop, the forest. Look down there, Mrs. Whistlehead. I see it, Corky. That would be a great spot to build a house. And there's plenty of room for a big vegetable patch. And there's lots of birds and trees and flowers. Timmy likes it already. What do you think, Mrs. Whistlehead? I think Timmy and I would be very happy here. Isn't that right, Timmy? Timmy? Where is Timmy? He's probably exploring. Timmy, where are you? That's him. Come on. Are you sure we're heading the right way? His barking definitely came from this part of the forest. He's around here someplace. Where? Timmy, come here. Watch where you're walking, Mrs. Whistlehead. You nearly fell down that hole. Timmy, how will we get you out of there? Don't worry, Mrs. Whistlehead. I've got what we need. What is it, Bill? Just the thing for getting dogs out of holes. Is it a crane? A crane it is, Mrs. Whistlehead. Good thinking, Bill. That's perfect. You take the controls, Corky, and lower me down. Will do, Bill. Be careful, won't you? Don't worry, Mrs. Whistlehead. A little more, Corky. And stop. Good to see you too, Timmy. Pull us up, Corky. Will do, Bill. Timmy. You poor little fellow. Thank you for saving him. Our pleasure, Mrs. Whistlehead. The forest is a very nice place, but it might be a little too dangerous for Timmy. He does like to get into trouble. Back to the balloon, Mrs. Whistlehead. Where should we look now, Mrs. Whistlehead? I'm not sure, Corky. There must be a place that's right for you somewhere. <laughs> what was that? It sounds like a storm. It looks like a storm. It is a storm. Whoa! Hold on tight, everyone. Where are we going, Bill? I don't know. You'll have to land, Bill. Where, Corky? I see a haystack below us. Then let's land there. <laughs> Thank goodness for that haystack. It gave us a nice soft landing. Where do you think we are, Bill? I don't know, Corky. The storm could have blown us anywhere. Let's take a look around. What beautiful flowers. What adorable sheep. And what a lovely farmhouse. It 
sounds like you like this place, Mrs. Whistlehead. It's marvellous. I think we've landed in the perfect place to live. <laughs> it looks a bit familiar, Corky. I feel the same way, Bill. I do too. Pinky Pink, I know where we are. We're right back on your farm, Mrs. Whistlehead. <laughs> So it is. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Corky. For what, Mrs. Whistlehead? For showing us that the perfect place to live was right here all along. <laughs> this deserves a celebration with fresh sandwiches and lemonade. Everything's turned out just right, Bill. It sure has, Corky. It just goes to show there's really no place like home. <laughs> well, you're right, Corky. You're right. Off to duck Bill and his best friend Cocky. See you again. Goodbye.